dig fish your love. What's up guys here is happy now with another guild force 2 pvp video this will be a short video but uh, and because i had no time to record any videos and i had also no real idea what should i do next it's the day after the season ended and i made it into legendary with both of my accounts i just wanted to mention that as you can see the little badge basically what i wanted to say or make with this video is to ask you guys what you what what are your thoughts about this season what have you liked and what not and basically i wanted to say what i liked most and what not the double q uh, the duo q was kind of fun i never used it i played also only solo but because i don't want it to ruin someone else's scores or mine with some bad players <laughs> nah i'm just joking i just don't want to waste time from someone because I played like one game and then I make a 50 minutes break and then again it just takes too much time for someone if he wants to do a queue with me uh, what I liked on this PvP season is that it was better than the last four and you were not able to grind into legendary or high platinum but uh, I will say platinum you were able to grind but on the top you ain't anymore <laughs> Then the thing was, the problem that I had with the season is the double dual queue versus zero queue. I had like a couple of, I don't know, uh, 8 to 10 games like this, uh, where I was on a full solo queue team against double dual queue, and that was on the high ranks, and then I lost like 20 points, because I was probably the highest score there with 19k and my my random allies were not so high but on the other hand I had also some teams where I lost like 9 points against double dual cube with legendaries and some other ESL players but that was still yeah how should I say it I won like 3 three of those 8 I, I won with all YOLO Q players but it, it is still harder because the double Q dual Q partners they know each other they will help each other they won't let each other die and so if you do what we want you are not able to kill them because they will get help every every time so that was kind of stupid but on the other hand i don't know most of the times we had one Q versus double dual Q that was okay but double dual Q versus zero Q was just freaking not funny to play because most of the players just gave up during the mid game and that was stupid the other thing what was stupid is the troll players they cost me also a lot of games and my friend too also of course uh, those players who have kate we had a 4v5 we were about we had one cap and we were fighting mid but we were losing mid and my team went far and one guy died on mid because he was outnumbered instead of leaving it we had like uh, 100 to 80, the enemy team was leading, and he just decided to FK. We were like 4v5 th during the rest of the game, we made it to 450 versus 500. We, we could have won that, but he just decided to, yeah, don't give a fuck. And then I asked myself, why the hell do those players play ranked games just to troll around? Why, why would you do that? Don't do that. That's stupid. Uh, for the LA I wanted to mention something because that's really cool and I was thinking about that a lot a long time ago rune of Melandru minus 25% condition duration plus stun duration so you can go for invigorating torrents and you don't have to be afraid if you get stunned or get a, a tons of conditions because you will have 25% less duration so for example cripple uh, chill and immobilize will be gone a lot faster not because of this one here but also because of the rune as you can see here the duration gets decreased by 33% plus the 25 here that's a 58% decreased duration so if an acro gives you 3 seconds of chill he will 1.5 seconds 
and chill is like the most annoying thing for Ellie because he won't be able to use his skills in time because the re the skills get reduced recharge high recharge Ben said yeah that's just something that I wanted to mention now for my next video I was thinking about doing a either a random build with a random profession or you can write it in the comments what should I play what you want to see uh, or what you struggled against. I heard Dragon Hunter, but I made a lot of Dragon Hunter videos. Maybe I explain how to play Dragon Hunter and how to counter him, just for an example. And yeah, that was it. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little update <laughs> video about this season. I really liked it. It was better than the last four seasons. It required more from you, and a lot of people just don't understand it because I understand. Everyone wants to be in the top 250 players, but if you are not that good, you don't deserve it. Because if you see other players that play like every day, hundreds of games, and they deserve it because they not just play it, they like it and they are good. And to be on the top, you have to be a good player. That's it. Nothing else. I made it even without the expansion, my other account, Power Warrior, only by Power Warrior. Uh, I had 40 games to 20 losses. Should 22 it is, but I don't count those two because I had DC players that don't count. And the 20 I can accept, so I had there 75% uh, win ratio. So I won like from 10 games, 7. Should be like that. I'm bad in math. But somewhere like that. And on this account I have bad score, but my friend played over 100 games on this. But I never mind, I still reach legendary, that's it. <laughs> That's the end of this, the conclusion. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this and yeah, write it in the comments. I see you in my next video. I hope it will be more fun than this one here. <laughs> bye bye guys. Now you see somewhere here around my channel and some other videos that you can subscribe or watch my other videos. Bye bye. Let's write it here. On German, winken. Bye bye. <laughs>